हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी माय संतोष नपते स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस पेपर दैट इज अप्लाइड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इन दिस पेपर वी हैव स्टार्टेड सेकंड यूनिट that is water microbiology and in this we are studying about the microbial examination of microbial examination of water under this heading we have started and completed already this mtft or which is called as multiple tube fermentation test in this we have studied three test one is prism tube test second we have studied confirm test and third we have studied completed test for the video of this lecture that is on multiple tube fermentation test just see this video on this youtube channel that is on microbiology by santosh napte now today we will see about the next test and it is known as isaac mann test or it is also called as elevated temperature test because the temperature used in this test is high temperature and it is 45.5 degree celsius so the temperature is high therefore this test is called as elevated temperature test so let's start this second test which is called as zekman test or also called as elevated temperature test now this test it is discovered by christian zekman so this zekman test it is discovered by Christian Isaac Mann in his research paper in 1904 so this test is discovered by or described by 
Christian Isaac Mann. Therefore, in the honor of the name of this Christian Isaac Mann, this test is called as Isaac Mann test. And the temperature used in this te test is high temperature that is 45.5 degree Celsius. Therefore, this test is also called as elevated temperature test. Elevated means here high. So it is called as elevated temperature test. And this test is based on this Zachman test or elevated temperature test. It is based on the fact that many strains many strains of Ishirishai coli or E. coli the ferment the lactose sugar present in present in the medium and produces acid and gas. So there is a formation of gas particularly here that is there is a formation of gas at this high temperature that is at 45.5 degrees Celsius temperature this Ishirishai coli or E. coli it will produces gas. At the same time that bacteria of the genus Enterobacter, Enterobacter and Klebsilla. Enterobacter and Klebsilla, they can't show or they Enterobacter and Klebsilla, they does not show any such type of biochemical reaction at this temperature. It does not show any type of biochemical reaction at this temperature because the enzymes which are involved in this lactose fermentation, whatever that enzymes are required for the fermentation of this lactose, enzymes which are required for this lactose fermentation, they become inactive in this enterobacter and this Klebsilla bacteria because these lactose fermenting enzymes present in this Enterobacteria and Klebsilla these are these enzymes these are sensitive to this high temperature and because of sensitive to this high temperature these enzymes they become inactive these enzymes they become inactive here so because these are sensitive to this high temperature and that's why they become inactive and if that enzymes they become inactive so this enterobacteria and clipsilla they can't grow at this high temperature that is at 45.5 degree celsius temperature okay but the enzymes or lactose fermenting enzymes of E. coli these are not sensitive at this high temperature and therefore this E. coli that is Ishirishai coli or in short it is called as E. coli it can grow or it can multiply at this high temperature or at this elevated temperature here so it can grow it can multiply at this elevated temperature and so that is the base or that is the principle of this Isaacman test or elevated temperature test. 
and when there is a gas is produced in that Durham's tube. So when that gas is produced in that inverted Durham's tube, it means that this Isaacman test is considered as positive. And now we know that this gas is produced from the lactose by Escherichia coli or by E. coli. So that we can say that here, whatever that water sample is used for the inoculation of this medium or which is called as lactose tryptose broth. So the medium which is present here, it is known as lactose tryptose broth. lactose tryptose broth so this medium it allows the growth of this bacteria here E. coli and that will produces gas so collection of this gas in Durham's tube it indicates the positive Isaacman test then we can say that here that water it is unpotable for drinking purpose that water is unpotable for drinking purpose here. We can say that here from this Isaacman test or elevated temperature test. Now how this test is performed? Now we will see here how this Isaacman test or elevated temperature test is performed. So here this loop full of that water sample or we can say that that culture or test organism here look full of test organism or that water sample it is inoculated in this 3% lactose tryptose broth so whatever this medium is here it is a 3% lactose tryptose broth in this 3% lactose tryptose broth that loop full culture is inoculated here or test organism we can say that here loop full of test culture is inoculated or that water sample is added here okay from that we can see here that positive tubes here okay so here now whatever this medium is that is lactose tryptose broth the pH of this medium is 7.4 okay this is the pH of this medium and later on it is it also includes or consists of this Durham's tube here okay so after incubation here what will happen after 24 hours of incubation at 45.5 degree celsius temperature and for 24 hours if there is a gas is produced in this Durham's tube so this is the test tube here and this is Durham's tube is gas is produced so this formation of gas it indicates positive Isaacman test or positive elevated temperature test here. Positive Isaacman test or positive elevated temperature test and then we can say that that water is unpotable for drinking purpose. So students here we completed this next test for microbial examination of water which is called as elevated temperature test or it is known as Isaacman test. Now watch this full video, comment, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this microbiology by Santosh Nafte so you will get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you.